Hello and welcome to my presentation. My team is Yasin Mines. My name is Yasin Amr. I am 13 years old and I am from Alexandria, Egypt. I have been in robotics since 2018. I have experience in Arduino, EV3, and C++. I have competed in three iQOO competitions so far. I am currently competing in the under 19's first step. My challenge task is to find as many objects as possible, then deposit them as fast as possible and repeat it as many times as possible in 5 minutes. But I faced some problems. My problems were the robot takes too long to find the deposit and the robot might get stuck. To stop these problems I used some strategies and methods. My strategies were make the usual tracking so the robot finds the deposit faster and use line tracking so the robot follows it into the deposit. And some of my methods were make the robot go back and rotate when it's stuck. But my favorite strategy was make the robot rotate towards the deposit when the robot is near it. Like this. My final result was 1690. In conclusion, I think that these strategies work well and are effective. And now I want to explain to you my favorite strategy how to use ultrasonic to find a deposit. Now I want to first I want to explain to you how it works. When the robot is in the deposit's position, it will check the ultrasonic readings to see if it's close to the deposit or not. Then the robot rotates towards the deposit and uh, to enter it. To explain it to you simply, I made four flow charts, one for each deposit. I want to start with the bottom right deposit. First, the robot checks the loaded objects. They should be more than three. If they are not more than three, the robot will keep looking for objects. If they are more than three, the robot will check its position. The position should be x2 to 2 and y0 to 1. If it's not, the robot will keep looking for that position. If it is, the robot will look at the ultrasonics. The front ultrasonics should be from 70 to 90 and the left ultrasonic from 50 to 80. If it's not, the robot will keep looking for that exact reading. If it is, the robot will rotate to 90 degrees entering the deposit. The second flowchart for the top left deposit, the, the robot checks the loaded object. They should be more than 3. If they are not more than 3, the robot will keep looking for, for objects. If they are more than 3, the robot will check its position. The position should be from z x 0 to 0 and y from 1 to 2. If it's not, the robot will keep looking for that position. If it is, the robot will check the ultrasonic reading. The front ultrasonic should be from 50 to 60 and the right ultrasonic should be from 70 to 140. If it's not, the robot will keep looking for that exact uh, reading. If it is, the robot will rotate to 170 degrees entering the deposit. To make this statement, first go to our position near the deposit and then write down the following. Write down the front ultrasonics reading and the ultrasonics closest to the wall's reading and write down the position of the robot. And then open the AI, make a new statement and in the ultrasonics sensors enter, you, you enter what you wrote down. And, uh, and also enter the position. And then go to the key action. And depending on the position of the deposit, make the robot go towards it. Here are some highlights to explain better. First, the robot starts collecting objects. And when it has more than three objects, it will become ready to enter the deposit. Here now, the robot rotates towards the deposit and enters easily. The robot will now start collecting objects again until it has more than 3 objects.
developer to now try to find more OEX as soon as possible to apply the strategies I have entered for it. Here, now if you notice, the robot bumped into the wall, but because of my method, the robot goes back and rotates away from the wall. The robot will now continue make the objects. Now if you notice, the robot is wall tracking the wall to find the top left deposit faster. And here now, since the robot has more than 3 objects, it will soon rotate towards the deposit. The robot will redo the strategies over and over until the 5 minutes are done. Now the robot is redoing the strategies. It will now rotate towards the deposit because it has more than three objects. And this is the simplicity how it works. Apply new edge again to the reward. Using this robot virtual robot, we can make rescue robots. As the objects represent people that the robot has to help to get to a safe place, which is the deposit. Mm -hmm.